Hey, welcome back to OC Outdoorsman. Well, this is going to be a different video from what I'm used to posting here on YouTube. I will be car camping in the Eastern Sierras. Now, typically I take my kayak up to the mountains, but this year I decided to do something a little different. So, uh, you'll see here I'm at a uh, charging station and I'm in... In Yokern, I think that's the name of the place that I stopped at. So from Orange County to here, it was a good drive, and this is my first charge. I was down to 15%, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm charging up the vehicle on my way up to Bishop. So at this point, I'm fairly close to Bishop, California, which will take me to my um, ultimate destination in the eastern sierra so again this will be a, a different video i will do some fishing but really the goal of this trip is to check out some new lakes so i generally fish lake crowley around this time of year but in addition to that i will be checking out several other lakes in the area so stay tuned all right i'm in the town of bishop about to hit my next supercharger. Right, looking for West Line Street. I think that's it. That's it at the lake. Yep. All right, so I got here in just under five hours, and it only took one charge to go the 297 or so miles to go from Orange County to Bishop, California. So here I'm about to pull in to charge up for the second time as I make my way up into the Eastern Sierras and my first trip will be, or my first stop is gonna be at a new lake. I forgot to show you the total cost at my last station, but here it was only $14. Not too bad, cheaper than gas. All right guys, I'm here at Lake Sobrina. First time here. But I've heard good things. So here's an aerial shot of Lake Sabrina. Now again, this is my first time visiting this lake. I did rent a boat. As you know, I typically take my kayak, but on this trip it was really to explore. And as you can see, it's not a very large lake. I rented um, a six horsepower motor boat and I was able to traverse the entire lake in no time. But the water levels are way up, as uh, I am told, because of all the rains that we've received this year. And I definitely want to try this lake in the future on my kayak because, as you'll see later, there are really great areas to launch your kayak onto this lake. Here's a shot of the tackle shop. So before going fishing here, you do need to check into the tackle shop especially if you're renting a boat. The rates here are $75 for half a day. But again, there is a, a pretty decent launch area for kayaks, so in the future I will definitely be bringing my kayak to this lake. Oh, fish on! I forgot my net too. If I get a really big one, I'm in trouble. But so far, the Thomas Buoyant has been the ticket today. Let the rod do the work. Tire him out. Bigger than my last fish for sure. I'm gonna have to bump him onto the boat. Stay away from the motor. Man, he's going all the way around the boat. Good thing I don't have anchors. Down. Oh, that's a nice fish. 
there he is. Let's see if I could just <clears throat> look at that bad boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Trying to get you loose here. There we go. He's a good 14. All right. Just got to my campsite. I'm over at McGee Creek. Here in the Eastern Sierras, right across from Crowley Lake, which were, which is where I'll be fishing tomorrow. But look at the scenery here. Look at the view. Got the mountains. Beautiful, really, really nice campsite. So it goes back here, you can see there's a covered area here with a picnic table. Bear proof. I think this is true. To keep your food and stuff. Yeah. Storage for your food. That's bear proof. And the fire pit. And check out my one person tent. Look at all this headroom. I could stand up in here. Let me uh, open this up so you can get a better view. I don't know if you can see me. Check it out. My one man tent with arch ceilings. Just kidding. This is my shower. And as you can see here, I've got this rinse kit slash shower, which is battery powered. Look at the uh, force on this thing when I turn it on. It has all these different modes. Really cool. So here's a bird's eye view of the McGee Creek campsite. Once again, it's situated very close to Lake Crowley, but it's in a great location because it's relatively close to all of the other lakes, including June Lake and Sabrina as well. Now, this campground does not have showers, which is why I brought along my portable camping shower with me. However, the restrooms are super clean and it's really a great site. It's only around 35 bucks per night, so it is affordable, and again, it's well situated. I'm setting up camp for the night, so as you know, I'm not camping out in the tent this time around. But a lot of people camp out of their cars, especially with this particular, the Model Y. As you can see, I folded down the rear seats, and now there is tons of space I believe they've um, there's enough room here for a person that's six foot tall so plenty of room for me but this mattress here is like a memory foam really comfortable and it was designed for the Model Y and as you can see I've blacked out all the windows I'm in stealth mode so right now the Sun's about to set and it's still bright outside but here it's nice and dark you can see I also have mounted um, a power supply here because these Teslas come with a couple of outlets, 12 volt outlets here that you can plug in accessories to. So now I can charge up my, my phone and my watch even when the car is off. The battery in this thing is, is just super, super powerful. So it's charging anything that I plug in even when the car is not running. But yeah, what I'm going to do later is when the sun sets, I'll show you that that display, I mean, it's, it's so awesome. You could watch movies, Netflix, YouTube on it, and um, I could have climate control running all night long. And so, yeah, I'll show you how that, how camp mode works. But right now, I just wanted to show you the interior while it's still bright outside because the sun's getting ready to set. But man, look at this view. It's 
a little after 8 p.m. Sun's about to set. I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube, but let's take a look. So you'll see here. I'm now in camp mode. And at 79% now, I'll probably get up a little before 6 in the morning tomorrow. So we'll see how much battery or how much energy was consumed over the, uh, the night. Now it's going to get colder as the night progresses, but this will be a good test of, of camp mode. Um, it's now 5.28 in the morning. Climate control's been on all night long. I just got up. And we're now at 70% charge, so pretty good power management. Oh, I'm gonna have some breakfast, and I'm gonna hit Lake Crowley. All right, guys, day two here in the Eastern Sierras, and I'm at my favorite lake. This is Lake Crowley. And unlike previous years, I'm in a big old 17 foot boat instead of my kayak because I am car camping. So I'm going to jump in here real quick because this day was uneventful. I learned later that the owners or managers of this lake had drained so much water out of it in uh, preparation for the snow melt. And uh, the um, they didn't want the lake to, I guess, over overflow so they drained actually too much water out of it which resulted in a very poor bite and that was pretty much the case for any fly fisherman out here got nothing on the fly so I'm just gonna move on to the next lake then nothing happened this day all right thanks man so here I'm renting a boat over at June Lake now this was the following day and yeah this is a, another beautiful lake so i'm going to show you some footage some aerial footage of this magnificent body of water enjoy i went around this lake and found that there were actually some decent kayak launches along uh, really close to the uh to the docks so I would definitely like to return, probably in the fall, to kayak fish this lake. It's definitely bigger than Lake Sabrina, but not as big as Crowley. So this lake has a lot of kayak fishing potential. Here at Silver Lake. Look at the water levels are coming up near the paved area here. This a spot I could fish from. I'm not seeing any boils though. Silver is part of the June Lake loop and it's definitely smaller than June Lake 
and one that has great potential for kayak fishing. As you can see, there are a lot of places to launch from, including a dock that's very accessible. So I definitely will be returning to this lake to fish on my kayak. But check out this lake from the air. It's a very nice looking lake. Back here at Convict Lake, it's in the morning. Right now it's a little after eight. Just casting out the gold cast master. Had one right just a few minutes ago, it spit the hook. Fish on. Here at Convict Lake. Easy mice tails. This one feels decent. Nice little trout. Nice. Do you guys want them? Uh -oh. This is kind of small. No. You know, I need them. <laughs> no? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. I'll unhook them for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed my latest trip to the Eastern Sierras. Here I'm driving back down to the next supercharger as I prepare to drive back. To Orange County. So I'll connect with you again shortly. You know, there's only two types of music that I listen to country and western. You may think that I'm talking. God bless Texas. I've been sent to spread the blessing. Lock the door and turn the lights down low. So a few final thoughts on car camping out in the Sierras. I definitely prefer it over traditional tent camping because camp mode in the Model Y is very well designed. It's extremely energy efficient. I was able to sleep over eight hours with the climate control on with minimal drain on on the battery power and it kept me warm during the cold nights and then cool throughout the day. I will definitely be using Model Y for future camping trips and fishing excursions. Now, if you have any questions about it, go ahead and submit them in the comments below. If you're in the market for a Tesla, I'm also sharing a referral link in my description. If you use it, we'll both get 10,000 points or referral credits towards Tesla products and services. And yeah, so it's definitely mutually beneficial. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks.